What is next for TCU after just a complete and utter uh, beating? Well, uh, I think that this season could be could be looked at as a good thing, right? Obviously, I mean, you make it to a national championship game and you're TCU, uh, especially year one of a coach's tenure, that's a good thing. Uh, you made it to the national championship game with a coach that you did not expect, or excuse me, with a quarterback that you didn't even have starting in game one. Let's, uh, let's pull up what this team is losing. They're losing a four-year starter at quarterback. They're losing more than 70% of their rushing attempts. They're losing more than 70% of their passing targets at least two offensive line starters and that doesn't even account for defense of course this uh, tweet from parker at stats of war i mean it, parker said this roster was at the top of its development cycle in both 21 and 22 thanks to the covid year like it's this team was set up right now you're gonna lose quentin johnston you're losing max duggan you know the two names on the team you're probably gonna lose the running back kendra miller you're losing de mercado you're losing linemen you're losing some of those transfers that came in for one season. It's going to be tough. However, what this did was show that TCU is a good program for other players. It helped with the recruiting. It helped with the transfer portal. You saw all the guys that they have already gotten in the transfer portal, and they're just going to keep bringing them in. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to be back in the Big 12 title game again next year. Uh, a lot of that depends on the quarterback situation, etc. But this demolition that they just suffered in the national championship game does not take away from how much fun this season was and how good that program can be in the new Big 12 going forward. I look for big things from TCU going forward. So I think that this is going to be a whole lot of fun uh, once TCU kind of kind of wipes the stain of this off of them. You know, they'll get home back to Fort Worth. They'll take a shower and they'll be able to celebrate a little bit. The hypnotoad and everything else that this season brought, um, I did have a lot of fun with the the fact that Gary Patterson was actually in the audience last night. I said, you bring Gary Patterson back in the building. This is what happened. Uh, it's all in jest, obviously. But this program is headed in the right direction. Uh, Sonny Dykes, obviously a good coach. Doesn't look like they're going to lose any of their coaches right now. I mean, obviously, we'll see. Who knows? But yeah, this is, this is a team and a program that is headed in the right direction. Nothing to hang their heads about about this season. Not at all. Not at all. Psst. Hey, if you like this video... Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.